Hi all and welcome to today's episode of Photo Focus on Dante TV. So today's episode of Photo Focus is actually a request from my friend Caitlin. She wanted me to take photos with candles. So today I'll be taking photos of not just candles, I'll be taking photos of lollies as well. Confused? Keep on watching! Recently I've been really excited about bouquet, where the main object is in, in focus and the background is really blurry. So that's what I wanted to do with today's episode of Photo Focus. All of these photo focuses are supposed to be for those who are on a tight budget, i.e. me. So I just decided to buy these tea light candles, which is just $2 and you get a pack of 30 and you probably not even use up all of them. I'm only going to use about 10. Next you'll need some black paper, which I bought in pre for previous tutorials and um, just pick it up from your local store, pack for about $3 and you need some scissors and some tape. Lastly you'll need your DSLR, a prime lens, one that has a low f-stop value and that's about it. So we've got all of our stuff sitting on my small little table here because that's all the space you'll actually need for the whole photo shoot. So what you need to do is actually get your lens cap of your prime lens and put it on a black piece of paper. Draw a line around it like I have and then draw a wider diameter circle around it. It doesn't have to be accurate, it just needs to be wider. Next pick up your um, scissors and just cut around the wider diameter circle. Okay, once you've done that, you now have to cut little slits into the outer circle. So little triangles. It's, it's actually quite easy to do. Might seem hard for some people, but it's actually quite easy. Just little triangles towards the center of the circle. This is like primary school fun, cutting out little shapes into paper. And there's the final product. Okay, so now get a piece of paper and cut it into half. This really depends on how much black paper you have. If you can make it go all the way around your prime lens, that's fine. But I can't, so I had to make it into two parts. Make sure you don't make it too wide. You, um, I make it a bit too wide, but it doesn't matter. Just as long as you don't get it to interfere with your DSLR when you put on your camera put it on your camera I mean. So now I'm sticking my pieces of paper together so I can make it go around the lens. As you can see I'm super speeding. <laughs> Don't want to bore you guys. So now we're making sure that the front plate part that we just did at the start fits on. And now we're going to draw a square in the middle of our um, front plate. So this is going to be a 2cm by 3cm um, rectangle. And I'm just drawing it now, showing you guys here. And just cut that rectangle out as accurate as you can. You can be a little bit off, but just try to be as accurate as possible. You can use a ruler, but I'm really cheap and can't be bothered. <laughs> so once you've actually cut that rectangle out, please remember to keep that rectangle. You'll have to use it. So now we're going to place the front plates onto the the outside border thing that we have made. I don't really, I haven't really given these names. But yes, just get your sticky tape and stick it, stick it onto the front. So to make really nice photos with really good bouquet today, we're going to use templates. So to be able to stick those templates in front of this square that we've, we've cut out, we need to use two more rectangles of paper and stick those to the sides of the front plate. So here you can watch me sticking on the thing to hold the templates or filters for this photo shoot. It's quite easy to do. Looks pretty messy though. <laughs> so once you've got that done, next grab that 2 by 3 centimeter piece of paper that you cut out before, draw a square around it, and this is what you want your bouquet to look like. 
This is kind of hard to explain, but you can draw all these different shapes into this little square. I did both a diamond shape and a heart shape, but I'm actually more happy with my heart shape, so I'm just going to keep with the heart shape for this tutorial, and it's going to be a very romantic type tutorial, so I'm going to keep with the heart, it really suits it. So this will actually work really great if you had a Stanley knife, but I don't have that, so I'm actually using my scissors to just um, cut the heart out of the square and it's gonna look a bit rough you don't want it to be rough so try to get as sharp a uh, scissors or knife as possible to get a good bouquet now that that part's done simply just slide it into the front and you're ready to take photos so now just put it onto your camera and I'll show you what you can do. So set your camera to aperture value and to the lowest you can use put it to. So I am put mine at 1.4 and I'm focusing on the lollies at the front. Have the You want the candles to be the most out of focus and just light, light the candles. Now I'm actually trying to light these candles, but this is why I only used four or five. It's because not all of them would actually light, and if they would light, they would light for a very short period of time, which was really annoying, so I ended up just using four or five. So this is actually what the photo would look like if you don't have the filter on at all. You can see that the candles' lights are really blurry. So now I'm putting on the heart filter, so you can see that there, there you go, you can see there's little hearts. It's a little bit off, but I play around with it and get the hearts nice, so... Actually looks quite nice, I'm actually quite happy with this. And I'll show you guys the photos in a second. So this photo was taken a lot earlier, with the candle on the left being really annoying because it wouldn't light properly, so I ended up kicking that out and not using it. So I've got three photos here which are my final results for this tutorial and I really like how they turned out. Remember you can check them out on my blog because they'll be a lot better quality as these ones are quite low quality when put onto iMovie. So it comes out really romantic, so you can use these in a birthday card or if for a special occasion for your other half. Okay, so that's all for today's episode of Photo Focus, and I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and go out and try it yourself, and just show me if you guys have some good shots. So I've only got one more Photo Focus to go, which is a request from Miss Pixie Lulu. If you guys have any more requests, please feel free to comment down below. Um, check it out on my blog and comment in the blog and ask me to take photos of something. I also wanted to tell you guys and remind you guys that you can now go straight to my channel by the link address tv.thedante.com so I'll put that right here or somewhere here from that link you'll be able to go straight to my YouTube channel and just watch my videos from there or you can just go to youtube.com slash dantevid but I think it's easier for you guys to remember if it's just tv.thedante.com hope you guys enjoy see you guys later please subscribe and um, you'll be able to check it you'll be able to go straight to my from that link you'll be you'll be <laughs>